Hi guys, Retro Django here. Welcome back to my channel. Well, through YouTube, I get a lot of mails from you guys. Uh, I get a lot of help and uh, a lot of ideas for my next video and questions about some of my hardware, Amiga hardware, Commodore 64 and all that. But three minutes ago, I got a called Mike wrote to me that uh, he's seen uh, one of my videos with the Cyberstorm accelerator card with the 040 CPU and he has just been offered uh, the same board with 32 megabytes of RAM and uh, he asked me about uh, the 3D games for the Amiga if I have tried them how it runs well Mike instead of writing an answer to you i will make a short video because to be honest i have never played the 3d games so mike has wrote uh, uh, alien breed and fear so uh, let's check out those games um, i will just show really fast that um, i got the cyberstorm installed here well speed test speed here so we just can see that it's about 50 times faster. Yeah, it's 54 times faster than the stock Amiga 600, as you can see. And it runs 40 megahertz, 040 with FPU. Uh, let's check out memory. It's got 120 megabytes of memory and two megabytes of chip. And... Uh, just a cheap ass 4 gigabyte compact flash card that runs with uh, 3.2 megabytes per second. All right, um, let's just enter the games now. Sorry, I should just uh, reset the machine. Now, uh, this one got 128 megabytes of fast RAM, but the one that Mike is maybe going to buy got 22 megabytes of fast RAM. But to be honest, I don't know, I don't think you can uh, feel any, oh, any difference in between them. <laughs> this one run, runs with a, uh, this one has got a, um, what's it called? Hi oh, guys, a uh, scan doubler. So alien breed, there we go, we got alien breed here. Uh, alien breed, oh it must be one and two. Let's try number one here. Um, so let's see how the 3D games run because uh, he's thinking about the old 40 version and he wrote something about he could get a 060 board without no RAM expansion or something like that. But he wants to know if it runs 3D games. So uh, let's check this one out. I have never played the 3D games. Um, Man, it looks so bad. How do I control? Oh, there we go. Okay. Damn it, this sucks, guys. <laughs> All right, how do I shoot? I shoot here, I walk here. How do I open doors? Space? No. Um, I just pick something up. Now oh, this is alien breed. All right. I don't know if I can enter the. Oh. Okay. It looks so crappy. If I can enter anything to get a higher resolution, but uh, I don't think so. Well, uh, Alien Breed 1 uh, runs really, really well on the 040. So uh, no problem there, Mike. So let's try, I've, I have Alien Breed 2 also, a 3D2 here. All right, I decided to uh, film with the um, tripod so I can play these games with both hands, guys. So uh, let's try Alien Breed. 2 3D and um, well oh my 
god it runs awesome and i can i think this is the max and uh, it runs perfect so let's try that fear game There we go, 3D Fierce, Fierce AGA from 1995. I mean, when we bought a PC back then, uh, all the games that came out, they just wanted us to upgrade our computers all the time. I mean, I wanted to have more RAM, better graphics, graphic cards, faster CPU and all that, but on the Amiga, I mean, from 1988 to 1992, all the games could run with 7 MHz. I mean, if the software companies made some games that required more powerful Amigas, then we had to upgrade our machines and buy better, faster Amigas. I mean, uh, I didn't have no reason to upgrade from an Amiga 600 to a better one in 1992, it was, I mean, it was not the best move, they should have done it just like the PC market. Maybe that's why, also why the Amiga died. Okay, here we've got a game, let me see, walls on, what's this, the cherry on, let's put everything on, just to uh, put much pressure on this uh, Cyberstorm um, CPU card, okay, it looks great. So let's see what we had two years after Doom. Oh man, look at this! It's so bad! 1995? Are you freaking kidding me? Oh man, it's bad. How do I open this? Oh. I mean, the graphics are just so bad. Where do I go from here? No wonder we all bought some PCs and played Doom and <laughs> Doom and Duke Nukem and all that. It's so bad. Can I better graphics? No, nothing. I mean, look at this, guys. Doom in '93 was just great. Okay, we're just checking the um, the speed of the Cyberstorm car, and this 3D game also runs perfect. And then he run bre breathe or something breath breathless, I think he said. And then make br breathless AGA 1996. Maybe this one got better graphics. I don't know, guys. Um, let's try this one too. Yeah. Or uh, write on the comments below if you guys know another 3D game that really that the Cyberstorm can't handle. Oh, okay. This this looks good. Window. Yeah. There we go. Some screen size, guys. Okay, maximum. And I really hope that... I hope this will kill the old 40, but let's, let's see how it runs. Highest resolution. What's this? How do I open the door? Is that a door? There's a door. There we go. Oh! How, how do I shoot, mate? Oh, with the mouse. 1996! AJ game, oh my god, I played uh, Duke Nukem in 96. God damn it, it's so bad. It. I mean. <laughs> it's just so bad, guys. The graphics, everything is just. <sighs> Look at this. Oh my god, it's bad. Uh, it's bad, okay. Just out front here. 
fire on. There we go, Frontier. Just to let it run with the uh, all 40. Uh, dear Mike, <laughs> I really don't understand why. Oh, I, I'm used to see this with uh, an O30 running 40 megahertz, and this is O40 running 40 megahertz, and it runs faster. <laughs> but Mike, uh, I really don't understand why did you want to play 3D games on the Amiga. There are so many great 2D type games. I mean, those few I tried right now. I don't know if there are some others that there are probably, but. Um, they really sucked. I mean, none of them could compare to Doom and Duke Nukem and all that from the same era. And so I will say, if you want to play those games, if you like it, uh, do it, of course. But the Cyberstorm MK1 with an 040 is uh, fast enough for those games. Uh, my card has 128 megabyte, and yours has um, 32. I don't think there will be any difference. It, it, it runs them uh, well, but um, if there are other 3D games you want me to try, I think I have most of the games here. Uh, just write to me again, then I can make another quick video. But uh, as of right now, I really don't see why you should buy uh, the the O60 if you just if you just play games, because I, I don't think there are any games that uh, require more power than that. Uh, so as you can see, the, the old 4D runs it really well. And look at this demo, I mean... Uh, the Cyberstrom MK1 is uh, powerful enough. If you only want to use it for uh, WSD Load Gaming, then I would say uh, go for it. Um, I love this demo. <laughs> it runs great. Um, oh man, it's nice. All right, uh, Mike and all the other guys, uh, thank you for watching. 